Hey, Johnny Mosley here from Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. Out here testing products, skiing some, you know, medium-sized pal in snow mass. And uh, been skiing this Atomic Ben Shetler. Uh, this is kind of a new width for them. This is the 110. Okay, so it's 110 mils underfoot. That's the waist. And the reason that number is important is because I kind of think like 100 and below is sort of the psychological breakoff point where if you're used to a traditional ski and how it performs, like basically what I'm saying is you're old, um, you know, under 100, the thing performs like skis we grew up on. Like it, it'll, it'll rip on hard pack. It doesn't feel laborious to lay over on edge. As soon as you start getting over 100, things starts to get a little bit a little bit tricky, right? It's hard to make a ski that really uh, feels like it can rip some slalom turns, but also float in the pow. So a 110 is kind of like, you know, I'm always skeptical when I go out on a 110 and just see on a, cause this is, it's snowing, but it's really just dust on crust. Some of the most challenging conditions for a ski. And uh, I, I was thoroughly impressed. It, uh, it did the job on the hard pack. Like I could rip, I'd ski, I could get through a NASTAR course on this thing and have a decent time. I mean, the tip is pretty turned up, so you're gonna be pretty slow compared to your buddies that are on more directional skis, for sure. You're gonna be hitting the, hitting the roost. Um, but I found myself being able to rip some steep dust on crust pow, make some GS turns, make some tight ones, do some slashes, you know, get in the white room. Uh, I did some butters, hit a little knoll, I uh, skied some bumps. This thing actually it was not bad in the bumps. I was I was impressed. So uh, one more thing on this, it's got the Horizon Tech, which is the the more surface area in the tip uh, that allows it to rise. Like they basically kink the tip, so it has more surface area around. Um, they do it at like kind of a, they make a chine. There's two chines on the tip, which allows the tip to to float, but without the swing weight. So you don't have to have a huge bulky tip, which sucks for doing 360s. Oh, I skied backwards on this thing a bit in the PAL. That was cool. Uh, bench that would have been proud. Um, I had one more thing to say about this thing. Oh yeah, I think, you know, if I was just gonna get one ski and I was like, I can't have a, a 90 and a 120, I'm not one of those three, squi three quiver guys, but I like to ski, you know, Colorado West. That's, that's a good choice for you right there. That's the 110 bed shell or 180 if you're 5'11". Go as long as you can stomach. As long as you can stomach, man. You can still, look, I used to do 720s on 195s, bro. So if you're thinking you're not gonna be able to get those things around, you will, trust me. Plus, you know, you're mounted a little further forward, so it's not gonna feel like you have a huge, you know, tip out there. You know what I mean? Big tip out there. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Johnny Mosley for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports. Get the gear before you go.